In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to quickly resize images in PowerPoint and then also how to align them across the slide. So to start off, I have my blank presentation slide. I am going to add some images to the slide. Head up to the ribbon and I am going to select insert and then pictures and I'm going to take my pictures from the internet. So I click online pictures and then here are actually some quick categories of images that I can grab just for convenience. I'm going to select Apple and I'm going to take three separate Apple images. So I'll take this group of apples, this green group of apples over here, and then I want a similar image as well. So I'm going to head down and try to find something that's slightly similar. Just missed it. Here's another similar image. Once I have my images selected, I will click insert and my images will populate onto the slide. Now you can see here that as they come in, they're rather large and the design ideas pane pops up on the right hand side. This is just an automated piece in PowerPoint where they suggest some slide layouts for you based on what content you are adding to your slides. So here you can see that the design ideas that they are suggesting for me fill the entire slide up with the images of the apples, which makes sense because the images that I brought in are rather large. I don't want them this big though. I want to also be able to add text to the slide. So I'm going to ignore the design ideas that were suggested for me. I'm also going to go ahead and reset the picture. This is not something that you have to do, but I'm just doing it for the demonstration. I'm going to reset the picture in size. So that way you can see that originally these images are all different sizes and proportions. So you can see the image on the top here. Um, this is about the size of the slide, but if you look behind that, I'm going to bring it to the front just so we can see it more clearly, if it allows me to. This image of the green apples, it's much larger than the slide and it is practically incomprehensible because it's so large. So what we want to do is we want to make all of these images, regardless of their proportions, regardless of their size, a uniform shape and a uniform size. We're going to do that by selecting all of our images at once and then selecting picture format from the ribbon. From here, we will crop these images as a shape. So we'll mask them as this rectangle shape. And then we're going to expand the picture format options under size so that we can see all of the options that we have for size and position. So for size, I want to make these two by two squares and you can see that they're all rectangles. So that's going to be a big stretch for these images. So for height, I'm going to put in two and then for width, I'm going to put in two. Well, they still look rather rectangular to me. What's going on with that? Well, that is because we had the aspect ratio locked. So that means that the, the PowerPoint program is prioritizing the aspect ratio of the image. They're trying to preserve the fidelity of the image. If we force it into a square shape, we are going to distort the image and that's a problem. So here's how we get around that. We're going to click lock aspect ratio and we're going to make the height two inches regardless. We're just going to force it to be a square. And now these images are the same size. And as you can see, they're all blurry because we have forced PowerPoint to distort the image, to constrain it within this two inch by two inch square. To fix that, we'll click on the image, head back up to picture format, click on crop, and then click fill. 
And what that's going to do is it's going to re expand the image so that way we have the proper aspect ratio and constrain it to the size of the square by selecting a portion of the image. So it's not actually taking away the aspect ratio of the image, it's just going to take a portion of the image to display. So that's, that's great, that's what we want. And we're going to do that for our other images as well. Just click fill and fill. Okay, so now we want to be able to align these images horizontally across the slide. First thing we need to do is get rid of any extraneous information that came along with the images. So I am going to select here the um, attribution for the slide that came along in a text box. I could keep this if it actually had any information that was useful to me. It's not. It says it's an unknown author, so I'm going to delete this and um, I will have to dive a little bit deeper or maybe select, select different images that I could provide a proper attribution in the future. But since this is just a demonstration, we'll pretend like we're just working with the images. Go ahead and select all of the images. And from the Home tab, we're going to click on Arrange and then Align. And what we want to do is align these um, so that they are uniformly at the same height on your slide. So I'm going to align these to the top of the slide and then I'm going to click Arrange Align and make sure that I have aligned to slide selected, not aligned to objects and distribute horizontally across the slide. And now these images have pushed uniformly across the slide. I can use my arrow keys to determine where on the slide I want the images to be, um, because probably right at the top of the slide is not where I want them. Or I can go back to arrange and align and just try different places on the slide. Maybe I want to align to the middle of the slide um, and that would be a good spot for these images. But since I'm going to put a little text under them, I'm going to want them just a little bit off center. And there you go. That is a quick and easy way to, to uh, resize your images and then align them on the slide. I hope that this is a helpful tip and I look forward to providing more tips on this topic.